Hi, Anne Foray. Thank you to everybody who sent me some keywords yesterday. We got quite a lot of, oh, I said a keyword, quite. We got quite a lot of keywords on this list. Now for some of these words, more than one person sent them in. So what I want you to do is I'm gonna read this list. And when I get to a word that you sent in, I want you to give me a thumbs up and then I'll know that it came from you. You ready? Q-tip. If you said Q-tip, give me a thumbs up. Quack. Quarter. Queen. Question. Quarantine. Quick. Quiet. Quit. And quest. Let's count how many words we had. I don't know if you remember, but lastly for letter P, we got 63 words. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten words, pretty good since Q is the trickiest letter we have. Ten words. Great job. If you think of any more keywords this week, you can send them in and I'll add them to this list every day. Now I wanna to point to one of these keywords. Question. We ask a lot of questions when we do show and tell and our share time, but now I have a question for you. You ready? Here's my question. We have a Seder for Pesach with a lot of steps in it. Who remembers the very first part of the Seder? That's my question for you. What is the first part of the Seder? If you know the answer, shout it out now. I hope you said Kadesh, that would be right. Good job. Now I have one little project for you guys to do to get ready for Tzvilah tomorrow. And that is to make some flags. I realize that we don't have flags, all of us, to be able to dive into. So I made some flags at home, let me show you. I made the American flag for when we do the Pledge of Allegiance and the Star Spangled Banner. And I made the Israel flag for Hatikva. It wasn't too difficult. Let's take a look at them. The American flag has a square in the corner with stars. It's really hard for me to draw stars, so I drew Jewish stars, Magin David. And then for the red stripes, I just made a few red stripes, leaving space for the white stripe. For the Israel flag, I need a blue stripe on the top and a blue stripe on the bottom and a Magain David right in the middle. I'm going to show you now how I make them. I'm gonna start by making my American flag. So what I did first was I drew a square in the corner here. And then I drew some Jewish stars, Magain Davids, because I don't really know how to make other kinds of stars. We practice making triangles when we learn shapes. So all you have to do to make a Magain David is make one triangle and then an upside down triangle. I'll show you that again. One triangle and then an upside down triangle on top of it. I'm gonna make three more. Now I'm ready to add in my red stripes. I'm gonna start at the top and make a line here and color that in red. Now remember, we need to leave space for the white stripe. So I'll make a line down here, leave this stripe white, here red. This stripe's gonna have to stretch across the whole page. Let's leave this stripe white. Now I've got a long red stripe to go. And my last white stripe. This one's gonna be white and my last red stripe.
and there's my American flag. Now I'll show you how I do an Israel flag. All I need is a blue crayon. I'm gonna start with my blue stripe on top, leave some space for white. There's my blue stripe. Blue stripe on the bottom. And now one big mug game David in the middle, just like we did stars on the American flag. A triangle and an upside down triangle on top of it. Just like that. Perfect. Enjoy making your flags. Bye.